Well, good morning again. Let me get you adjusted there. It is time to go for a morning bike ride again. And, you know, maybe get ridiculed by some of the people in the neighborhood for seeming to talk to myself. <laughs> right? Because people like to make fun of people that do things differently from them. Anyway, uh, feeling pretty good today. My eyes are a little tired. I think I spend too much time on Facebook. In fact, I, I know I spend too much time on Facebook. Uh, and I was actually thinking about like these uh, these vlogs. Like each day that I do these vlogs um, on the Bro Bryce Vlogs channel. I record like a 20 minute vlog and pretty much, you know, a pair of batteries in this flip is only good for maybe an hour of footage before it dies. And um, that's with, uh, you know, some Duracell alkalines. And uh, it, we buy them at Costco, you know, because we buy it, just a crap load of them. And, um, and that's great and everything. But I was thinking about, like, um, I'm just not a big fan of rechargeable, you know, consumer chargeable batteries because they tend to wear out too quick. Or they, you know, they lose their life. And, you know, being in the pro video arena, I don't like the concept of uh, the possibility that my battery might not last through my shoe. There's my kickstand again. How do you like that? I need to set my alarm. Here. Let me stop, rather than try to do it while I'm going down the road. Can't see anything in this sunlight. <laughs> it just tried to do like a voice recognition thing on there. Set one for 20 minutes. Set it. All right. So that it will stop me and wake me up. Okay. And uh, and I don't edit these vlogs because okay because of the same reason why the whole the Russell battery thing is not economical. <laughs> because if you look at the if you looked at my AdSense account, you would laugh. Because on the on the Bro Price Vlogs channel, I make no money. I mean I make I make almost nothing. On this channel, you know, people have talked about how, you know, they don't make any money off AdSense, and <laughs> I'm getting mauled by the edge. And conversely, you know, I make better money off the other channels that I have, not the Bro Bryce Vlogs channel, which I make almost nothing off of. <laughs> they talk about how, you know, they make pennies on their videos and I will say that <laughs> that's pretty close to reality you know if that on the Bro Bryce Vlogs channel so for me I'm gonna have to stop using the Duracell batteries for the Bro Bryce Vlogs channel because really like I'm gonna shoot a video 
it's 20 minutes long and probably have no further practical use for those batteries after that. So a pair of batteries is probably, if you were to buy them retail, I don't know, what, what are the alkaline batteries going for? Three bucks, four bucks, a pair, something like that. Price of energy, whatever. I may be, I may be totally wrong on that, but if I'm not making three, four buck, three or four bucks a day off these videos, there's no sense in me spending three or four bucks a day in batteries on these videos. I'm just saying. Uh, I do use the flip for other stuff. You know, the gardening channel does pretty well. Anyway, <laughs> it just seems, I know, it sort of sounds like I'm saying, you're not worth it, right? Just know, I'm going to keep doing the vlogs, but I'm going to be doing them with the rechargeable batteries. That's my phone. I'm getting Facebook messaged, but I'm not going to answer it because you guys are more worth it. There's lots of construction going on in the neighborhood. In fact, construction at my house is going on. Not right at this moment, but uh, later today, be probably some painting and uh, cutting of uh, garage door. I talked about that before, and um, that's gonna be it's gonna be nice, nice wide garage door to. Uh, I wanted to make it wide enough that I could pull my freezer out of there if I wanted to. Because right now it's trapped. I could not get it out of there if I wanted to, I don't think. Uh, I can get the lawnmower out of there. I can get my bike out of there. But that freezer is probably stuck in there until we cut the new door. <laughs> it's not like we're going to move it. Because, it's, you know, it's really, there's no place in the house for it. But it's just, you know, nice to think that if you wanted to take it out of there, maybe to sell it, you could. Um, I've really been, as far as my recovery goes, I've been feeling much better lately on the whole but there are times when I have a really hard time with cramps from, you know, the incision and the surgery. Um, especially in bed. It seems like laying in bed would be the place where relief comes. And that is where, you know, I get rest. But... You know, you get tired. I like, I don't like to just lay on my back the whole night. I typically will shift to my right side or my left side. And shifting sides is, uh, it's difficult. And it's sometimes really painful. Like I have this one spot that seems like if I, if I move just wrong, it feels like it's tearing at me and um, if it happens like the pain doesn't go away right away even if I just lay flat and try to rest so I get the feeling that it's not just like a, a cramp type thing it's just something that's not fully healed and it's kind of pulling at it wrong Fortunately, the bike riding seems to help, but I did have to take a couple days off the bike because it was just too, I don't know, I was just in pain, uncomfortable, but there's less and less of that. I mean, it doesn't shoot the whole day down anymore, like, um, I mean, a week ago, I would say, you know, I'd had some days that... The whole day was shot just because of, you know, pain and discomfort. And it was hard to, you know, get out of the house and, and go do things. Well, today, 
you know, I'm going on a big Costco run and um, going to go teach film. Actually, today, the plan is, tentatively, and maybe I might have some behind-the-scenes footage somewhere. I'll let you know tomorrow if, if there is any. Um, I might have some behind-the-scenes footage from our film today because we're planning to shoot uh, one of the scenes from our short film today in front of my house. So the school kids are gonna pile in my car and we're gonna haul down here and we're gonna shoot a piece of the film out in front of my house. So maybe I'll show you some behind the scenes stuff from that if I manage to get it. I always tend to forget to shoot the behind the scenes footage. Like a couple times for this vlog, I have intended fully to share with you some of the behind the scenes stuff, the BTS as they call it. And um, I have failed to shoot the behind the scenes stuff. So I would sit here and I would record like a piece of a vlog and say, yeah, today I'm going to give you a sneak preview. And then I would get to the point where I was actually going to start filming and I would forget to record the behind the scenes. So I guess it's kind of difficult when you're busy filming, setting up lights, setting up cameras, Parking orders, telling people to go round up people, telling people to operate the boom mic or, you know, hold the light stick or light pole or whatever. And, you know, in this film class, I only have an hour on Thursdays and I have two hours on Fridays. The amount of work that we get done in that amount of time is pretty amazing, but it's really difficult. You know, because in a term, in the period of time it takes to complete a term, we have to complete a short film. Which means that a considerable amount of the editing has to be done by me, even though I do teach uh, some of the, the practical side of editing. Um, it's just, I don't know, you know, you look at I don't know how many of you have seen the, the short film that we did for the church. Some of you locally might have actually seen it at the church. But the that film took about 20 hours of editing, give or take. Quite a bit of time. And we're given you know, 15 to 18 weeks in a term to shoot and edit everything. And when we're shooting a scene, we have to set up everything and tear it down at the end. So it's not like, you know, for me, a lot of times it takes me an hour just to set up lights for a scene, or it might take longer. So how is it that I would expect to be able to shoot and, you know, light and shoot an entire scene in that amount of time? I don't know. But we do it. And uh, it's just by the grace of God that it, that it, it gets done. Um, it's by the strength of God that any of these tasks get completed because I myself in my own strength am nothing. And uh, eh, my camera's sliding back on me again. I, uh, I don't know, you probably noticed that I talk about God a lot. And I'm not one of those people that can, you know, I figure, you know what, if, if you really are saved by Jesus, 
Isn't that the most important thing in your life? I mean, if you believe the Bible's true, if you believe the scripture's true, isn't that the most important thing? It's like I might talk about filming something in a video. I might talk about other things that I have going on, like riding my bike in my video. Or my surgery in my video. But those things pale in, in importance by comparison to how important it is that Jesus saved saved me from hell. So to me, that's a big deal. And if I didn't treat it like it was a big deal, boy, that would just be dumb, wouldn't it? <laughs> Morning. <laughs> I'm riding back by my house, and I realize my car door was still left unlocked, which is where I pulled this camera out of. This ball joint is annoying the daylights out of me. I am not putting a big camera on this ball joint. I've got this little tiny flip camera. It's no bigger than a pack of cigarettes, really. And it doesn't weigh hardly anything. But putting it on this ball joint is just playing with fire. It just seems to flop around. I try to tighten it down as good as I can, but it doesn't seem to hold very well. What I'm going to end up doing, I'm sure of it now, is I'm going to end up buying some Manfrotto clone ball joints, heavy duty ball joints, for uh, a lot more money. But it'll be worth it because I won't have to hassle with this. I'll have a lot more peace of mind probably be able to stick it on here and never have to touch it again because this one I've got to mess with it every single time but the, and the whole point of putting a quick release on here so that I can pull the camera off stick it in my pocket go into the house, download all the videos and then bring it back out here the next day and slap it on the bike again and not have to think about it but sadly, I always end up having to think about it. And you guys that know me, you know that I don't like to think. Thinking is annoying to me. I need to get up on the sidewalk. This is too bumpy. Bumpity bumpity. There we go. Is that better? See, it's flopping back again. I end up being a little mushroom on the bottom of the screen. I've seen it. I watch my videos. Sometimes. <sighs> well. The weather is turning beautiful. At least currently. It's being beautiful. And that means that it's going to be time to fire up some projects on the Bro Bryce Gardens channel. Uh, I went and visited James Barnum. I went and visited my dad. And uh, I got some footage of uh, raspberries and stuff. I, I think I still got that footage. I hope I didn't delete it. <laughs> but uh, if I still have it, then we'll have a couple more videos. So you're gonna see two more videos of me with uh, James Barnum um, starting this Monday. And then uh, that'll be on the Bro Bryce Gardens channel. 
and then after that, I think there'll be two videos of uh, me with my dad and in his garden, and then we're gonna start on. Uh, I think we're gonna have some worm farming videos. I've uh, been watching some videos by a guy uh, who's out in Hillsboro, which is uh, just outside of Portland, and he calls himself Garden Frugal, which is pretty much true. Shows some really great, uh, cheap and easy ways to garden. And uh, pretty much if you want to see me garden, it's going to have to be cheap and easy. Because, you know me, I garden with a brown thumb. So, if you actually catch me growing something instead of killing it, you know that the Lord is at work. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's the Lord who reaps the harvest. It won't be me. But, um... Just looking at some cool stuff on uh, Garden Frugal fan page. I encourage you guys to check that out on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, check out the Garden Frugal channel. He's got a bunch of cool stuff on there. And I'll probably be shooting some videos showing the application of some of those tips here pretty soon. And, um, they're backing a truck up into that construction site with those two houses. They flatten out the dirt to put a third house on that lot. So it's going to be three houses on one lot that used to be one house and a yard. And these houses are close enough together that they might be able to shake hands out of their bathroom window. Which, that's fun, right? I always wanted to do that. Like maybe right after you wipe, right? Sorry, did I say that out loud? Well, no one's laughed at me yet. Although I have got some funny looks so far. I think there's an estate sale down the street. Maybe I'll stop in there real quick and see if there's anything interesting. I've got a basket on my bike. That's the alarm saying that this bike ride is over. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Bro Bryce Vlogs channel. Bye bye.